Okay, thank you, Ms. Stokes, and thank you for including these refugee students in your class. Can you tell me uh, what they did here, please? Sure, this is Francis, and he's showing the different ocean currents. We've got the warm ocean currents along South America and the colder ocean currents because we're studying about how those ocean currents affect weather. Nice. And we've got the um, El Nino weather pattern here that uh, Yasir drew for us and Nora worked on low and high pressures and how that generates wind because we're looking at atmospheric currents and oceanic currents and how that ties into weather and so um, Wonderful. We have another one here with the winter, winter pattern, uh -huh. maritime polar cells, and he he used a map of the United States and put the um, maritime tropicals and the maritime polars on here. And then we've got another one up here from Noor, and this, she's showing how along the equator the currents. Um, move warm waters away from the equator towards the polar and from the polar air regions towards the equators. And so they're, they're learning about oceanic currents and how that all ties into weather. That's fantastic. These are eighth grade teaks. Yes. These are star These are tested. Eighth grade teaks. This eighth is 8.10A, 8.10C. That's fantastic. So. And I see your room, you have lots of visuals. I so do. you obviously believe that these visuals contribute to the overall learning of the class, would you say? Well, they're anchor charts, and so these are things that students are able to refer back to, and they're able to use them um, to bring back information. So yeah. they're very important. Well, thank you very much for including them in this class. Um, have there been any behavior issues oh, or anything no, another teacher should worry about? No, not at all. They're really, really sweet, and oh. they work very well together, and I partner them up with the other students. And um, no, they're very eager, and they're, uh, they're really pleased when we put their work up here on the wall. They feel like they're really contributing to the classroom. That so. is amazing. No, they're very sweet. That is really really best practice for English language learners. Thank you so much for being sure. a model teacher of inclusion. We appreciate you this year so much. Sure. Thank you.